Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It's Monday, it's market outlook time. Let's take a look today on Monday at what we could be seeing today and through this week of FIFA Ultimate Team, the full, first full week of footies as it started last Friday. I want to take a look at the content we have had and maybe, you know, just some things we can expect for this week SBC-wise. Since this is a SBC-based promo, yes, there are some re-release cards and packs, but the new items are coming out via SBC. I want to look at possibly some more player pick fan votes that we could see later on this week. I think we'll see more of those and maybe a, a little bit less of those fan favorites based off of what EA has said. Now, also the markets dropped off a lot. A lot of these players that were in packs, I want to talk about the different preview packs and how those affect the market because they released that 87 plus star pack again yesterday and that really supplied things. And also talk about the content that we had yesterday on Sunday with the Rude Hullet 25 section SBC and also the 81 plus player picks the 85 to 90 upgrade and just all the content, the icon moments player pick, which I actually did uh, as well. So just fodder, of course, it's a huge SBC based promo. And we knew that, right? Of course, you had fodder yesterday on FIFA. You had 84 rated cards at 13 to 14,000 coins. Now with the supply, and this is the first thing I want to talk about today is since this week is an SBC based promo, how is fodder going to go down? when a lot of this demand is continual, right? We're getting new SBCs almost every single day, footies, players, cards, right? I would expect this week to have more of those 85 plus player picks, 87 times three. Those types of SBCs, I would expect to see a couple of them this week. And I think this is a key part to why fodder actually is going down, right? Yesterday on Sunday, fodder was high. This pack right here, what we know, the 87 plus star rare preview pack, really supplies fodder on the market a lot, right? I did my preview pack. I got an 88 Laporte, honestly a pretty bad pack, but there's three of these, right? It's a 70K pack and there's a lot of good stuff in packs right now. And since fodder is high, people are ending up buying these packs a lot and it really supplied fodder. Take a look at what happened. Now, of course, I'm also taking this video and showing you guys this a little bit after squad battle rewards. Squad battle rewards was an hour ago and a lot of these cards are down, right? Jimenez yesterday, 13,000 coins, 14,000 coins, big drop off with the supply because again, this was the only tradable supply that we had yesterday. And this is what impacts these prices on the market. The 81 plus player pick being out, that really doesn't affect fodder that much. Really the prices on the market are affected by supply. And yesterday in FIFA, we did have a foot freeze challenge, which was a rare electron players pack, but that's not gonna impact the market too much. And then we had an 85 to 90 SBC, which again is technically not even good value at the moment. We'll talk about that, but it was really this 87 plus star rare preview pack, pack that really supplied. So this is the kind of stuff that we'd be watching out for this week is that when we have big SBCs, yes, we'll see those cards go up, but if there are also promo packs and preview packs like this big one right here, or maybe even 125K packs, if they do some of those throughout the week, that could be something where we see some fodder continue to go down. But honestly, in my opinion, since we've seen 84 rated cards already hit 14k earlier this week honestly if you wanted to do a slight club stock maybe hop on the bids on these cards uh sunday night into monday morning i'm really looking at this because yeah i know it's three to four k a card but also if you're planning on doing sbcs later on this week if you're planning on crafting some of these with player picks which by the way i bet rare golds are down right now as well how much is nordy and amrabat He's usually around 1.3K. All right, never mind. He's still around 1.3K. So unless somebody's doing a lot of player picks right now, it looks like some of these cards, I thought that some of the rare golds would drop a little bit, but that honestly does not look to be the case. Looks like there's still 1,300. But for this SBC fodder, even 85s, man, look at Godin. 10,000 coins right now because a lot of people are packing special cards and they're using these gold cards to fill out the rest of the SBC, right? This guy was 17 to 18K and he's now down to 10. I think that's actually a big play. I'm going to go actually on the market right now. And if I can snag myself a Godin, I'm going to do so. I doubt he's actually 11K. Yeah, see, that was a flip and undercut. I mean, some of these 85s, if you're actually getting them at around 10,000 coins, and especially this late in the year, it's so, so easy to get stuff on bid. I bet I can find maybe a Godin here around 10K on bid. Maybe not quite that easily, but that's that's kind of what I'd be doing. If there's still low prices today, this morning, I would do a little club stock, right? Maybe put a few of these cards in your club if you're planning on doing SBCs, if you're planning on crafting and still need a few of the cards in the club. I like 84s and 85s the best. 83s 
at 4,000 coins. Yes, they are down. And this is where a lot of the demand is because people, again, are packing those higher rated cards. Um, and then on the market, they're finishing out their squads with these lower rated SBC players. So, I mean, 7K down to 4K, not that bad. So on the bids is where I would really try to get these cards though. That might save you a couple extra hundred coins and then mean more profit later on in the week because I feel like later on this week, there still is going to be more demand and supply. You're going to have the preview packs, but I really feel like um, you're going to see at least some demand come in before then and opportunities to trade and to flip these cards. So 84s, 85s, maybe 86s. I like those the best. The thing I'm not so sure about as you get into the higher ranges is again, look at all these cards, right? 86s are 18K, 89s are 25K a piece. It's crazy how cheap some of the really 92 rated cards, 44,000 coins. So since those cards are so cheap, a lot of these cheapest solutions and the way people are doing SBCs is they're using a really high rated item and then filling in the rest of the squad again, like I mentioned, with 82 to 85 rated players. So 83s to 85s, probably my favorite target range there. Again, good leagues, good links, good nations. That's what I would focus on the most in terms of fodder right now on this game. Again, 10,000 coins for an 85. Like if I actually saw a Godin or Footpin says Scrinny R is 10K at the moment. Now, of course, these are showing up as the cheapest 85s on FIFA. So they're going to be in all the SPC solutions. So when it actually tells you that this guy's 10K, he's not actually going to be 10K because there's going to be a lot of people using his card and solutions. So that's kind of what I'd just be looking at tonight though, is that you see, I mean, even ZH down here at 11,000 coins a piece. And this card's actually pretty cheap. You might find one of these at 10K possibly on a quick undercut. So that's the kind of stuff that I'd be looking at today. I think that's a cheap, you know, a fodder investment. I don't do a lot of fodder investing, but that is a way where you could possibly stock your club and make some, I guess, um, more of like a slower return on your investment. Just kind of like stock it, put it away, more of like a dividend return type thing. Not going to spike incredibly unless we have huge content today on Monday, but just something that you can put in your club and sell it throughout the week when we see uh, things spike up in price. Now, of course, there's consistent demand with that footies player pick, but I think there's going to be more SBCs that come out this week that will create demand on the market. I know I'm switching back and forth between flipped in a lot in between uh, the game, but a lot of these cards with that 87 plus pack coming out yesterday, combined with the weekend league sell-off, Ferlin Mendy, who was 160K, is now down under 100. Um, Ronaldo, right? Yesterday, uh, we were talking like, hey, Ronaldo was over 2 million coins. He's now 1.8. He's been under that. Acuna, right? There's a lot of selling on the market and almost... Almost all areas. I mean, Acuna, look at the drop-off that he's had since Saturday. He was up here in the 1.2 range, I believe, on Friday as well. He was even still almost 1.3. Now he's 1.11. So a big drop-off on that card. And if I look at the rest of the Summer Stars, Gomez is down a good amount. Cavani's down a good amount. Jordi Alba's down, but that's because of Telez, right, when that was when that was released. There's a decent amount of selling, but it's not super crazy. Actually, this Richarlison. 495. That's uh, kind of piques my attention a little bit. What was he on Saturday? He was 520. All right. So that's actually not that low for his item, but I would really watch the sell off in some of these areas of these PTG cards of the summer stars, uh, you know, and even, even some of these guys like foot birthday, Furlan Mendy, people are going to see this and be like, man, 99,000 coins is so cheap for that card. Fatih at 138. Virgil van Dijk team of the year was 200. Now he's 220. Mane was like 120, 130 for most of the weekend. These cards, even though they're getting supplied and they're getting packed from these preview packs, you're going to see drop-offs like this and rebounds, right? He's back up to 95. He was probably right here uh, lower than 88K with a potential flip opportunity there. So again, whenever we have big preview packs in the store, there's going to be big undercuts. There's going to be supply from people that are packing those cards. And then you're going to see them relist them up. And then they're going to get a little bit rare a few hours later and into the night. And you're going to see those prices rise. So that's actually a way that you could trade this week if you wanted to. But again, everything on this game has just gotten so cheap. Look at these prices. PTG Felix, 128. I mean, you just look at these cards and it's insane. And honestly, boys, it's not done because once we get out of this week, I mean, I think in my opinion that these next two weeks, while the content still might be fire and it might be really good, we don't have the best cards in packs. And in my mind, I just keep thinking about having team of the seasons, PTG, and Summer Stars cards back in packs in the next couple of weeks. And that makes me really excited, right? I'm going to be really pumped for that when like batch two or batch three, if there is going to be three. Yeah, actually the website does say three batches available. So that's kind of what I'm getting my, I guess, hopes up towards a little bit. 
um, because I really, again, feel like this team one should have only been in packs for a week, not for two. So that's kind of what I watch out for today. Now let's talk content, right? Let's talk about what could be coming out. Again, a popular Monday SBC has been some sort of like icon, um, you know, Panini icon pack, right? Now we had one yesterday or two days ago on Saturday as well. Uh, with the Icon Moments player pick, which is around 400,000 coins, we might get another one today because a lot of those player picks are going to be getting released. You're also going to see some, you know, probably SBCs added to the pack code this week. It's going to be like, you know, last year we had like an 89 or, like, or a 90, 92 plus tots upgrade, right? That kind of stuff um, with, you know, potential of packing some pretty high rated tots cards. That would be really easy content EA could put out this week. That's the kind of content I would expect this week. We've had a lot of players recently, right? We had the Carval Hall winner. We had St. Maxon. We had Alex Tellez. Then we had Holit yesterday. Um, and we've had a lot of players that are in objectives as well. I do think today, this is the one thing I really feel like we're going to see pretty soon. I think we're due another player pick fan vote. So maybe they're going to be doing these on like Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays, I would assume. I'm not entirely sure. But again, as we've read here on the website... Those player pick fan votes, we technically have only had one so far, and that was with Carvajal and Manolas. Uh, and then we've had more of these footies favorites that have been released, but they mentioned that these are only for the weekend. So I would not expect to see too many foot favorites during the week this week. I would more so expect to see maybe some of those fan votes with the player pick option. I think that's almost not for sure, but I would really expect to see one of those today on Monday, along with some sort of like, uh, upgrade pack SBC and maybe even another icon SBC as well. Again, big time SBC based promo. Also, one little tip I'm, I'm actually considering doing this myself. A really good squad battles grind that you can do is Tavernier Alessandrini. And if you have not done icon swaps, you can do two icon swaps, Alessandrini and Tavernier at the same time with subbing some cards on. Again, if you kind of think about what they need. You need some through balls with forwards. You need some French player goals and assist seven goals with four-star skill moves, right? You can sub on a player and easily do a bunch of those. Score a goal with defender, assist 15, assist with four crosses, score using English players. You can kind of combine that uh, with maybe starting a starting squad of, you know, um, Argentinian silvers or Port Brazilian UCL players to get a lot of those squad battle icon swaps and or just these two objective players done together. So that's a very good grind that you can do this week. Even if you're not going to use those players that much, that's a 93 and a 94 rated card that you could use potentially in SBCs down the line. So I kind of wanted to talk about that. And then also all of the items that are still in packs, right? Again, we're talking about these items like the Cristiano Ronaldo team of the year. It's all going to depend on what we have that day for supply i've heard a lot of comments when i was streaming yesterday a lot of people were mentioning that like every team they're facing in the weekend league has this team of the year 98 ronaldo right i mean look these are all first owner tradable ones that are just being listed up on the market people are packing this guy from preview packs from squad battle rewards it's just all of these cards that are in packs are going to continually get supplied for the next 10 days right they're, they're in packs for another 10 days I really think that I expect their prices to continue to just kind of fall off. Maybe a couple rises, dips, and, you know, up and downs throughout this week, depending on the supply, depending on how good the content is. These cards are still, even though they got insane, insane amounts of supply early this week, if you take a look at some of them, like that Mane Freeze card that I was just showing you as well, they're, they're kind of rare, right? When you have these days of supply, that's going to be one way that I look to trade this week for sure is going to be on those days of supply when we have a pack supply or a preview pack that is in the store that is a really good preview pack and i think this is a way that we're going to have to learn how to trade because this is how it's going to be in fifa 22 when these preview packs are out which i think they're going to be around um, when you get that initial surge of supply and then you have a, a rebound later on on some of the rare cards that are also meta so also some of the stuff that is out of packs like i mentioned this acuna I mean, I know this guy's got a lot of hype right now. And you know what? He could reach a point tonight where he just gets really, really low and he does bounce back. So, you know, you can watch for some undercuts on some of those items. And even like I mentioned, the team of the year, uh, Van Dyke, that I saw at 200,000 coins flat earlier today, it was now just showing up at 220,000 coins. There's definitely going to be opportunities to trade. It'll be a little risky with these cards that are in packs, but... It'll be definitely pretty fun as well. But again, the main point I want to make about this week is just the SBC fodder, right? Again, yesterday we had a crazy icon SBC release for Hullet. 
Again, actually, if you take a look at this, Hullet's card on the market right now is 4.2 million coins. 4.2 mil for Hullet. And this SBC is coming in at 3.5 mil. So I know a lot of people are not happy with this Hullet card because it takes 25 squads, which just seems like so much, so much of a time investment, so much fodder that you're putting in and just so much to do time-wise, right? To grind it, whether you're gonna kind of RTG grind it and you know do upgrade packs or craft and do that, or if you're just gonna buy the players and put them straight up in, a lot of people, it's a time thing. And the fact that this was released in July and a lot of people were maybe hoping to use a Hullet card that they could attain through SBCs for more than a month before this game is done and over with. So I think that is why there's a general distaste for that Hullet SBC today, just because it seems like so much, right? And I totally understand that. I wish that these SBCs would have come out earlier, right? This was supposed to be the most accessible um, and easy to attain icon promotion ever with icon swaps, with icon pack SBCs and with player SBCs. And I think that is 100% not at all what it has been this year in FIFA. I think icons have been one of the most disappointing things of FIFA 21. When you look at all these other cards that come out, it's no wonder that a lot of these Icon Moments cards have dropped off so much in price in the past couple weeks because they've been out in the game for a couple months. People are selling those Icon Moments cards to go use that 99 Ronaldo. Why not? Like you use Icon Moments Croy for a couple weeks. All right, you used them, right? And and now there's a, there's a uh, 99 Neymar that is out. 99 Ronaldo, 99 Messi, 99 Roberto Firmino. So that's just the kind of thing that is going on in this game at the moment and i understand it i totally understand it why people are doing the things that they're doing and why those icons are down in price and why people are unhappy about some of the pricing on these icon sbcs and the timing that they are released so again it's going to be a big week i think of player picks uh we're going to be crafting of course i still want to be trading a little bit too to keep that coin balance up and keep that you know just more content being able to to interact with because there's going to be a lot of content and again it's draining coins off the market, which does make me think that you're going to, especially for the cards and packs, see them kind of dwindle off a little bit this week. But it's been a decently hype weekend. I feel like yesterday on Sunday, uh, besides the player picks, was a bit of a more of an L day because of the Hullet. Um, but the Telez was very nice. The St. Maximin is very nice. The Carvajal Hall is cool. And I think today we're going to see another vote and hopefully some more good players as a part of this footies promo. I hope EA keep bringing the juice. Player picks, of course, just a reminder, those don't have to be added to the code, right? So the fact this this footy pl uh, player pick is out, I know some people might be getting tired of it, but people are just doing this over and over and over to chase after that 98 Ronaldo or to chase after other team of the year items. I totally understand why you're doing that. Um, but they could easily add, again, TOTS, PTG, Summer Stars, player picks, some sort of that stuff that's already in the code. That's all fair game. And again, part of this promo is too, re-releasing um, SBCs, I believe. Um, not like in, in, not like saying like, hey, they're going to re-release Flashback Marcelo and, uh, you know, with lower requirements. But, uh, you know, that could even be something that we start to see that they maybe haven't told us about too much. So I do think it's going to be a lot of SBC-based content, which is why I like those fodder cards in general this week inside of the game. Those are my thoughts on what's going to go down, right? I'm going to be doing player picks. We're going to be hitting some cards, trying to craft some SBCs. I would like to do St. Maximin, Telez for the Panini, get him in the club. So that's my vote, and that is my opinion on what is going to be happening this week. Also, July 20th, which is, I believe, Tuesday. July 20th, Tuesday, there's going to be another FIFA reveal, FIFA 21 information. There's actually going to be gameplay footage, and there's going to be some more gameplay information inside of that uh I guess that EA is going to share. There's going to be some more pitch notes, I think, and also like a legit trailer slash reveal video from EA on FIFA 22. So we'll keep our eyes out for that, of course, as well. And of course, as we go on throughout, throughout the week, we'll talk about more things to expect. Like I'm still expecting uh, a nation-based weekend league for this next weekend, since again, we are on the non-nation-specific weekend league. I think they're going to upgrade that and follow that same pattern and have some sort of nation-specific weekend league coming this next weekend, which will, of course, move cards on the market. And we'll talk about that as we get closer to probably the Tuesday, Wednesday timeframe. So that's the market outlook for this week, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you are new. It's been Nate Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.